rejoicing in my saving God. Looks upon me in my state, and all the world will call me glad. For God works marvels in my sight, and holy, holy is God's name. Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Adilio and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.
This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. personal intentions. Let us offer this Mass for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today, and also for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the Apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, 
Grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, faith is the realization of what is hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Because of it, the ancients were well attested. By faith, we understand that the universe was ordered by the word of God so that what is visible came into being through the invisible. By faith, Abel offered to God a sacrifice greater than Cain's. Through this, he was attested to be righteous, God bearing witness to his gifts, and through this, though dead, he still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken up so that he should not see death, and he was found no more, because God had taken him. Before he was taken up, he was attested to have pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For anyone who approaches God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. By faith, Noah warned about what was not yet seen, with reverence built an ark for the salvation of his household. Through this, he condemned the world and inherited the righteousness that comes through faith. The Word of the Lord. Let all 
from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. And his clothes became dazzling white such as no fuller on earth could beach them. Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses. And they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say, for they were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice, this is my beloved son. Listen to him. Suddenly, looking around, the disciples no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. Then they asked him, Why do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? He told them, Elijah will indeed come first and restore all things. Yet how is it written regarding the Son of Man that he must suffer greatly and be treated with contempt? But I tell you that Elijah has come, and they did to him whatever they pleased, as it is written of him. The Gospel of the Lord. A blessed Saturday to us. Today's Gospel reading from the Gospel or the version of Mark regarding the transfiguration of the Lord, which by the way also has a particular feast but is celebrated on August 6. Now this particular episode in the Gospel actually is a very interesting one and it takes almost two hours or two periods you know, when, you, when, when, it, when it is discussed in the proper context of the study of the Gospels. But one particular significant di dimension that we have to take into account as part of our reflection today is this, um, the voice coming from the clouds, from the heavens, acknowledging Jesus as his beloved son, meaning to say the voice is the father's voice. But then there is a, an invitation, listen to him. Nowadays, when we are so much into the world, things of the world, 
no daghan kay ta mga buluhaton uh, bisan sa mga kasikas o sa mga kasaba no kakabanha sa ato ang palibot this challenge is always still a very standing invitation first we are be, being challenged to to have the sensitivity of acknowledging or listening to how god speaks to us even in the midst of the rat race that we are in even in the many things that we are doing even in the concerns ambitions and the plans that we have in our lives and then this challenge remains a very strong invitation but at the same time it also goes to the other end of it ngano man apa may lain nga paagi aron pagpamati sa Ginoo in silence or sometimes we say in the silence of our hearts the problem the problem lang kay even our hearts are not so silent now one beautiful thing that i always remember talking about this word listen is the ability to really take to make a focus in our lives and i learned this from one of the priest formators when i came here in the seminary that he was uh, talking about or playing on the word listen no, because we can only listen and then he jumbles the word listen the letters and then he says he can on we can only listen when we are silent so in the silence of our hearts that is where actually god speaks wingo din tanga wa mo kadungog og tingog and not necessarily but there are always things that come into our minds inspirations and otherwise that's why there is always a strong battle a strong struggle from deep within us kay daghan kitang mga madungog daghan kayo nga mga mudikta nato then we have to take a look into how to really make it you know to to really discover and according to the language of saint ignatius of loyola discern the voice of god that is deeply in our hearts in other words our consciences diha sa atong konsyensya nga magtudlo ka nato og unsay maayo unsay matarong og unsay dautan og unsay dili maayo and that is where we get a sense of how the righteousness that is the challenge because to be on the right it is what in Cebuano we call pagtuo no tuo unsay opposite sa tuo wala wala no? to be on the right to really listen to what the lord god is saying to us and at the same time asking for the courage to do concretely the good that he wants us to do not only for ourselves but for our brothers and sisters as well amen Up a high mountain, Jesus was transfigured, giving his chosen disciples a glimpse of the glory that would come after his passion. May the promise of heaven keep us faithful in following Jesus in the midst of life's vicissitudes and cacophonies. And so we say, Father, let us listen to your Son. Father, Father let, let us listen, listen to your Son. That in moments of doubts and difficulties, the church may hold on to the testimony of eyewitnesses who saw Christ's glory when he received honor and glory from God the Father, we pray. Father, let us listen to your Son. That we may be attentive to God's voice at the transfiguration as to a lamp shining in the dark until day draws, dawns and the morning star rises in our hearts, we pray. Father, let us listen to your Son. That we may consider the suffering of this present life as nothing compared to the glory that awaits those who remain faithful to Christ, we pray. Father, let us listen to your Son. That we may live one day at a time, enjoying transfigured moments and accepting hardships as the pathway to peace, we pray. Father, let us listen to your Son. That all who have gone before us in faith may share in Christ's victory and enjoy the vision of his glory forever, 
we pray. Father, let us listen to your Son. Lord, give us the strength to follow Jesus even on the way of the cross. For beyond suffering awaits your glory. We ask this to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. <clears throat> we offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In 
In a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith We this bread And drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with Ruben and Medifil, his assistant bishops, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's now share with each other the sign of peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, may he profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
Pronobis Sancta de Genitrix Oremus Omnipotens et Veterni Deus Qui Gloriose Virginis Matris Maria Corpus et Animam Ot Dignum Fili Tui Abitaculum Eficemere Retur Spiritu Sancto Cooperanti Priparasti Da Aut Cuius Commemoratione Leitamur Eios piante cessione ab instante bus malis, et a morte perpetua liberemur, per iundem Christum Dominum nostrum. Divinum auxilio maniat semper nubiscum. The Lord be with you. Now bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your people receive your holy blessing, O Lord, we pray, and by that gift spurn all that would harm them and obtain what they desire through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bock and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. Music